So you want to know what there is to do on a day out in Singapore? Jensen, are you coming or not? Let's go. Hey, it's Jensen. I'm exploring Singapore today with my friends Valen and Daniel, and I want to invite you along. Together, we're going to do a little sightseeing, some eating, some recreation. So bring a water bottle and remember, no durians. First up, we're heading to Little India. This area holds much of Singapore's Indian culture and community. Colorful architecture brightens up the streets, such as the house of Tan Tang Nia. Although it is actually a Chinese building, it shares the vibrant colors of the area and is a perfect place to grab those Instagram photos. Walk around Little India and you'll soon realize the amount of goods sold here. From fresh floral garlands, to fruits and vegetables, to arts and souvenirs, they sell all kinds of things here. Down a few blocks and we've arrived at Haji Lane. This is one of the hippest places in Singapore where you'll find colorful stores, artsy gifts, and some of the most creative displays you'll ever see. Further along the lane and you'll start to see a bunch of vibrant and expressive wall murals, as well as unique restaurants and cafes that keep the lane vibing throughout the day. And since we're nearby, we might as well walk by one of the most grand buildings in Singapore, the Masjid Sultan. It's a sight you don't want to miss. Next up, we're heading to Singapore's very own hub for Chinese culture. Colorful, energetic, busy, strolling along the streets here always makes for an interesting and engaging experience. Almost every country in the world has an area like this, but Singapore's version definitely stands out on its own. Welcome to Chinatown. This place just radiates culture. Here you'll find a Hindu temple, a Muslim mosque, and a Buddhist temple all on the same street. But of course, we're here to eat. Chinatown houses a bunch of cheap hawker food stalls with chefs mastering a variety of dishes from a variety of different cuisines. There's even a hawker stall that has one Michelin star. Crazy. For lunch, we're eating some classics. You've got, of course, the delicious chicken rice. Popia is a favorite of mine that you've got to try. And we've got some fish ball noodles too. And hey, eat your vegetables. It's time to head to what is arguably the center of Singapore, the beautiful and modern Marina Bay. Tourist favorites like the Marina Bay Sands and the Merlion sit here. However, we're not actually going to any of those today. We're actually going to be grabbing some e-scooters from Telepod. A quick scan and we're off. Crossing the bay is the Helix Bridge with its incredible design. Down and under the bridge is a path that leads away from the buildings to more of a scenic, relaxing route that hangs right by the water. It's the perfect place to walk, to bike, to scooter, to chill, and it's all attached to one of the most renowned attractions in Singapore the gardens by the bay. Woo, what a day, what a day. I hope you enjoyed it. So that begs the question, what are we doing tomorrow?
No, seriously, what are we doing tomorrow? I'm just playing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about what you can do and see in Singapore. I want to give a big shout out to Rayhan. He was my cinematographer for this video and he just delivered. Daniel Tamago of the Born Children crew. He's also a very talented filmmaker. Valen, she's a vlogger, a singer, everything. All the links are in the description box below, including my last video in Singapore. Yes, I'm leaving Singapore and I talk all about it. Make sure to watch the video in the description box below. Other than that, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.